Hello all, my name is Krishnak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about this topic that is risk in data science projects. And uh, just a few hours back, uh, why I'm making this particular video? Because just a few hours back, one of my subscriber, he had a data science interview in Ford company. And this was one of the questions that was asked to him, what are the risk in data science projects? So he was having a conversation to me with me and I suggested him some of the points. Uh, and he also requested me to basically create a video for you all so that you'll be able to understand what are the most important risk in a data science project. So without wasting any time, let's proceed. And I've created an amazing PPT for you, which I usually don't do. So let's go ahead towards the first point. So the first point is basically data security. Now recently, just a few days back, I think you have heard of news of Facebook where there was data theft, right? Uh, I don't know, like somewhere around 52 crore, uh, information data was actually uh, you know leaked there was a breach of that specific data now with respect to data security there are two major concerns one is data theft and one is data privacy i'll just talk about both of them okay so let's consider the first example of data privacy just imagine that your company you are developing some amazing machine learning and deep learning models which is actually able to predict uh, the people who are having diabetes non-diabetes probably cancer non-cancer or any kind of medical diseases. Then obviously for this kind of project, the data that will be used will be used from the patient, right? Patient of the hospital. And obviously those kind of data need to be kept really, really private. You know, we cannot just breach with that privacy because it is a very critical data, right? Now just imagine that particular data is basically theft or the privacy is basically ble uh, breached. What will happen, right? It'll be a major issue. Not only this guys, with respect to different, different kind of application, these two are the main concern, right? One is data theft and data privacy. Yes, for in order to fix this data security, yes, there are a lot of research that are going on. One of the most important thing is blockchain. Probably blockchain will actually help us out to uh, remove these two particular problems that is data theft and data privacy. But yes, still a lot of research are going on and probably in a, some uh, number of months so we may have a find a solution for that but just to understand the major risk definitely data security is one of them right so let's go with the second one that is called as data quality now when i talk about most of the machine learning and deep learning uh, web application or any kind of application we basically talk about models and those models are built from data itself right now just imagine and data is just like a raw material to the mo uh, model right if the raw material is not good you cannot prepare some good food. Just, just consider like this, guys. Suppose if I really want to cook some good food, I really need to have a good raw material. Let it be rice, let it be wheat. We need to have a good quality. Then only we'll be able to cook it and then only we'll be able to eat it, right? And once we eat it, definitely we'll be getting nutrients from that specific food. Similarly is in the case of uh, model, guys. If your data is of low quality, obviously your data will be learning less information from that specific data itself. Your model will be learning uh, less information from that particular data. And obviously it will not be able to give you some good accuracy results, right? So data quality is another major concern because reason is that guys still there is a data collection strategy. You know, we will be using big data basically to collect all the data probably from IoT devices and all. But what if we are not getting a quality data itself? It will be of no use if we try to use this specific data for the model building. So this is the major, major concern again. And then, so I've kept it at in second position, guys, low quality data. And uh, trust me, in my experience in probably from working from six to seven years, I've also faced this kind of issues. And because of this, I've seen many, many projects getting failed. Because at the end of the day, your model is not able to perform well. So you scrap down the entire project and you know that for developing one project, how much cost is basically involved, right? Because there will be infrastructure involved also. And guys, the third major risk is something called as financial constraint. Now, when we talk about building machine learning application or deep learning application or a data science project, it usually takes time, you know? Because if, uh, if you're following the complete entire life cycle of a data science project, it may take somewhere around four to six months, six to eight months, based on the type of project that we are developing. And obviously we require money for that, right? Unless and until we don't have finance over there, we'll not be able to do it. We'll not be able to take that particular project till the end because developing the project will only not be there. You know, it's just not like we develop an end to end application and done. 
we have to perform some uh, we have to go with some effective marketing strategy we need to really continuously uh, do a lot of investment we have to make sure that the entire team is working in an amazing working condition itself there may be different kind of lack of resources also guys right with respect to team we may probably need to hire persons who are really having an amazing domain expertise we may need to hire some persons who are very very good at this analytics solutions itself like defining problem statement probably understanding the data itself right and doing a lot of thing and we may also require infrastructure infrastructure basically means cloud probably gpus we may be require many things so that we'll be able to perform efficiently and for all these things we definitely require finance guys unless until we don't have finance trust me your data science project will not be effectively done so nowadays you see a lot of startups they come up with an idea they take a lot of funding and then they basically form their team and their team are pretty much effective guys uh, if i talk about their team we try to hire the most best person in the market right who are actually having a lot of knowledge so definitely financial constraint is one of the risk if there is no finance definitely a data science project cannot just be successful right and you'll be seeing this kind of things in companies also whenever they are assigning some kind of projects they will also assign some amount of budget of fund for that specific project and that will be based on planning right if that particular budget is getting over they definitely call up some for more budget you know and they just try to make sure that the project is delivered in time the last and the final risk that you will be seeing is guys lack of domain expertise remember to create a data science project you really need to have an effective team a data science team and forming a data science team is quite a task guys right in data science team you probably require you need to have a domain expertise you need to have data scientists data analysts big data engineers many people and they really need to be good at their specific field if they are not that good in that specific field obviously you'll see a lot of problems that are probably happening the machine the the entire machine learning project or the data science project will not be delivered right and probably you need to scrap that specific project domain expertise is must guys before forming a data science team just to initiate that particular project for that particular project you need to have some people who are very very good at that specific domain a project can be of any domain it may be of marketing commerce retail traveling domain any domain sales domain and to understand that particular domain definitely a domain expertise person is required because from that domain expertise persons you know when the data scientist or data analyst will be doing a discussion with them they will be able to come they'll be able to know that from where should they be taking the most important data which is the most important data that is required for solving that specific problem in when we are probably doing our eda exploratory data analysis so now see guys with respect to data science or data analyst they do a lot of eda after doing a eda you know they they try to capture all the all the reports they try to share it with the uh, domain expertise also to understand what things are going right are their assumptions right with respect to the reports that they have actually formed and to validate that a domain expertise person a product owner is definitely required guys then only they can proceed it's not like they just create the report and they just write down the observation and keep it over there it needs to really get reviewed by a domain expertise with respect to the same kind of data that you are trying to use so this is the most important thing domain expertise is must there are also problems that we see guys uh, even though we hire data scientist nowadays uh, they also lack lot of data science insights and practical implementation probably uh, they may not have a good basic knowledge with respect to the maths probably they may not be having the basic knowledge with respect to the practical implementation so this lack of domain expertise and team i would definitely like to put this in the form of resources which is a major major concern so considering this i have actually captured it and probably if in any interview they ask you this kind of questions please just tell them that yes these are the most problem most common risk that may happen if i missed out any kind of risk guys you can definitely tell it uh, or just write down a comment in the comment section of this particular video uh just tell me whether you like this kind of format of the video and i'll be coming up with more uh, this kind of videos itself so till then i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye